All right, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Chasm. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Now, last time we we obtained, uh, I think, what the we had obtained the the shin guards, which allowed us to slide, and we got the lantern, which illuminated dark areas, and we returned the was it the forging hammer to the blacksmith dome or dom, and now we need to see where we can go with, now that we have the lantern and the, and the, oh, what does it call it? <laughs> and the shin guards. But I think where we're gonna go is into the actual, into that garden area, that, that jungle area. I think we can go through here. Yes. And that'll take us, because our way before was blocked. This right here reminds me of Castlevania. Symphony of the Night. Symphony of the Night. I can actually pronounce those words. Um, those in-between areas where you would see, go through a hallway and it would just like this, it would just say count C, D on it. And there's some lion motifs in the background, I think, right? I think I have the Paranoch equipped. Yes, yeah, see right here. Now this will give us a way in. Kinda cool. And it will bring Professor Baz in. Absolutely astonishing! How can all this plant life flourish where there is no sunlight? That is a great question actually. Unfortunately there is no time to speculate now. Tally ho! Huh. So, as he said, this is all subterranean, and yet it is quite flush. Ah, oh, sapphire. Nice. Sometimes there's like little vine crawly bugs on those. Let's see, is there anything here? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Ah yes, in and out, ow, and this probably opens up the, yes, very good, one, two, three, boom, oh that's fun, alright, cool. Oh, 13. That's pretty painful, actually. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> okay. Actually, let's... Anything here? Nope, nothing there. I'm trying to see if there's like a secret area in the wall. I don't think I ever found one there. I just all of a sudden had a thought. Ow! These little so-and-so. Hmm, let's see. Maybe the sword would be better. We have a, a cutlet. I think if you jump and strike and then, you know, And you jump and strike and strike again right as you land, you can get a little bit more hits in more quickly. A few more hit, another hit in more quickly. But don't count on me being able to do that any with any frequency or regularity, I suppose. Regularity. Okay, never mind. I thought that was higher. Never mind. Whatever. Yoink. Hmm. I am going to take some preventative... A slice of strawberry pie. Oh, yummy. I wonder... I haven't had strawberry pie in a long, long time. I actually don't even remember if I like it. <laughs> it's probably good.
Ow. Oh, you are being quite rude there, young lady. Haha. -ha. Of course, she probably thinks I'm being quite rude. <laughs> For the first thing I do, I start things off by throwing a knife at her. Ah, see? Here, the light. Because you could come in here without um, the light, you know. You just need the shin guards, but with the light as well, you can make further progress. Yes, and we will save our game. Thank you very much. Stop jumping on the bag. Did you ever jump on your, on your mom and dad's bed when you were a kid? Woohoo! Well, that frog has my name. Has my number. I used to every once in a while jump on my mom and dad's bed when I was a kid. They always told me not to do that, but I was a little idiot. <laughs> you know, like you are when you're a kid. I think that frog has his indigestion or whatever, a horn toad or a flame throwing horn toad. Ah, that was dumb. Blame, I mean. Haha. Uh oh. Let's see, anything here? Nope. Alright. Oh wow, there's the second. Oh, I'm just going to actually, right quick, save my game. And go right back in. Gardens. Oh, gardens, I was right. Not jungle. No, very nice garden, I have to say. Well, it's very lush, I guess, like I said, again. <laughs> did it drop money? It did. I spent a fair bit of money on... Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, snap! There we are. I was like, wait, what am I holding on to? Yeah, there's little secrets like that hidden all over the place. And it behooves you to check, but you know. Ah, silver ingot. You feel fortunate. Well, that's, that's dang good. Wow, I was trying not to do that exact thing. Twenty-five. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna get <admit> that. <laughs> it's just five. Since I'm gonna fall in this pink stuff enough. As it is. Uh oh. Huh, we'll see this this way first. Oh. Oh, snap! Aha! Yeah. Gold ingot. Feeling fortunate. What'd we get? A medallion belt. Oh, okay, let's see what that is. A magic one, too. Other belt, let's see. Medallion belt. Hmm. Well, that would actually not be too bad, right? Lower our attack by one, but boost our defense by three, and our magic attack by two, and our luck by one. Yeah, why not? Oh, let's actually look on the other thing. Let's... Medallion belt. Eh. Nah. Other belt, we'll take the magic medallion belt. I think if it had been just a regular medallion belt, it probably wouldn't have been worth it, but I think this is worth it. Cool. <laughs> more. We need to find some more people. 
Oh, wait. Oh, there's another crow. Ankaro. He was an advisor to King Trill back in the day. Shortly after the king changed, I found a black feather in his chambers, which radiated a strange dark energy. When we first arrived here, I felt the same darkness coming from the caves in these mountains. The deeper I explore, the stronger this dark energy becomes. We must be getting close to the source, closer to the source of the evil which has possessed the king. Only the light of the watchers can keep this darkness at bay, so I have recruited some of the stone workers to aid me in constructing shrines as, I explore, as we explore. I hope that our efforts help in some small way to stop the dark force at work in this place. Alright, cool. Well, dark feather, huh? What are you here squawking at? Ah, I hit the wrong button or didn't do something right. Wonder if that raven has anything to do with it or if that's just, you know, <laughs> fortuitous. But of course, this is a video game. And those are graphics. And this isn't, you know, random like you know and I mean yeah procedurally generated but not the special things aren't we would need double jump to get that over there but yeah the everything here is there for a reason so either it's just for mood a dark feather Ooh. ah yes see can't get in there yet and we have no idea what that means I know what it means but I'm not gonna tell you because our pal Rodrigo here doesn't know what it means. So, that's a dead end for now. But maybe Professor Bazin can help us figure that out. I don't know. No, there's a valve. Let's turn it. Because why not? There we are. We can water the gardens. <laughs> oh, slide kick. Slide kick. Slide tackling. I don't know. It's kind of cool, but bad sportsmanship. <laughs> Haha. Yeah, eat that, you crummy f bee. I don't know, recently I saw something I, I, like, about bees, you know, being able to find a strategy to fight against, was it, murder hornets? Mur murder hornets, or you know, the ones that be killing the, the honeybees off? A tree crawler. I haven't read what the, the strategy is, but you know, you know, feel bad killing a bee, but you know, those are obviously not normal bees. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, we used to get honey from these, uh, let's see, these beehives, that were these bee, people who kept bees way out in the, out in the desert. Cause I, you know, I, well, I grew up in the desert anyways, out on the edge, really edge of town. But even further out in the desert, you would, what's it called? Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. You would find people who like grew onions and you know farmers who grew onions farmers who grew alfalfa and all sorts of things but there also be people who kept lots of beehives and we used to get really good honey from out there real fresh well you know real good stuff and I liked it a lot hmm what way to go now I think we should go we need to go up and yeah, we'll just go this way and then, yeah. Oh, dang it. <laughs> that was lame. Mushroom. Woohoo. That was professional right there. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, I can shoot things too, buddy. Stupid fungus. Actually, 
shit. Darn it. Oh well. <laughs> Do you like games with ancient ruins? Like, do you find those interesting? I think they're pretty interesting. Although sometimes they can be kind of silly. Let's see if it's over this way first. Make sure we're going the right way. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just go this way first then. Oh, it's a uh, game I liked a lot that had ancient ruins and exploring and adventuring. And it's sort of its theme was uh, Grandia. It was a PS1 game. It was really fun. Back in the day. Uh, it's probably the game that had the best sense, like, sense of adventure in it. I've ever... Ooh, a falchion. Let's see how it compares to our cutlass. Oh, wow, even better. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Spend my... Oh, we didn't spend money. We just fashioned it. A heavy single-edged sword designed for cutting. Yeah, even better. Well, since we lowered our attack by using getting the bleh, that was dumb by getting that medallion belt mushroom. Thank you. I wouldn't have guessed that without you. <laughs> Let's see. Can we? Go? No, no, we can't go this way yet. We have to get like this diving equipment or some nonsense <laughs> before we can go there. Kind of annoying, <laughs> but yeah, well, it's fine. What do we have here? Ow! Yeah, yeah. take that. Okay. Oh man, that's annoying. Let's see what else is here. <laughs> and then we'll. Ah! No! I'm. Sucking it up. Ah, oh, there we are. Woohoo! And up here is. Okay, another way to go that way. And. Oh! Silver ingot and another dang token. <laughs> oh, all right, here we are. Nice. Oh no, don't run away. What are you doing? Let's actually use one of these mushrooms. A tasty edible fungus. Let's use both of them. Got them for free. May as well use, oh whoa. <laughs> Good job, bro. <laughs> uh, that's where you, you show off your moves and they just laugh at you and kick your butt. That's that's embarrassing. What's here? Ah, another treasure chest. And we are racking up the treasure chest this time. Ah, a medallion belt. Whoop de doo. Let's see what it compares to this one. Oh, eh. Huh. That's what we have on. It's not quite as good, although it does boost your MP up somewhat. Let's put, how about, no, 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 no. How about instead of the leather belt, would that be better? Hmm, no, not really. Not for us, anyway. It would not be better. Oh, a gorilla. I think I tell my little sister when she was a little kid used to pronounce gorilla. A gorilla. That's probably true of almost everybody's. Of everybody when they were that age, actually, though. <laughs> it's not that, probably that remarkable. Gorilla. Gorilla. Gorilla.
I probably said that my dang self, to be honest. I have no idea, though. I said a lot of goofy words when I was a kid. A little kid. Ah, hit point max up. Sometimes you wonder what in the world... Where in the world kid, little kid's words come from? Let's see, that is 50! Oh, that's really good. And another token, what do you do? What do freaking do? Oh well, still making money. Come on, tree crawler, go away. Oh, I thought I missed that. <laughs> Come on, tree crawler. Waiting on you. Whole U.S. Army's waiting on you. Yeah. All right, let's see. Where should we go? Let's go down here. Ooh, 25. Nice. Ooh, another 25. That is pretty good. No! No! I blew it. I, I got fancy and got carried away. Aha! That's a nasty little piece of work right there. Oh, we got bronze armor. Let's see. What does that compare to what we have? Engineer's vest. Bronze armor. Huh, lowers our attack a little bit, but... Our magic attack, but it boosts our defense by five points. That's, I'm going to use that. That's good. All right, cool. Let's see, where else can we go? Up here. Jellyfish don't belong in the air, they belong in the water. Oh, here he is. These tablets contain a trove of information recorded by the Ladori. The language has advanced rapidly, but I am doing my best to translate it. It seems this all began when tr the tribe found a particular stone deep in the mines. The Shadow Gem, as the tribe called it, reflected no light and was said to have a strange aura of energy. The gem gave the shaman what he had always wanted, the power to visit the spirit plane. The Ladori believed that the spirit plane was a place between worlds where powerful spirits reside. It was in that place he first made contact with Ulak. When he returned to his body, the shaman had powers that made the tribe fear him. He told the tribe of the coming age of darkness when Ulak and his monstrous minions would conquer our world. The shaman then commanded the tribe to begin preparing this place for an arrival of Ulak and his army. Could the monsters roaming these corridors be the first wave of an invasion? And could the temple the Ladori be building, that the temple that the Ladori were building, be part of these preparations? You should continue on ahead to see if you can lo locate the temple. I'm going to stay here and finish these translations. All right. And let's see what else he has. Ah, Professor Bassett, Entry 5. I fear that the monsters that attack Karthus may only be the first wave of, of a greater invasion. The Ladori tribe believed that an event called the Age of Darkness would befall our world. They wrote at great length about the coming of Ulak's army, which is made up of vile and dangerous beings from every world that Ulak has conquered. Could the temple be the source of these monsters? It is certainly a good place to be begin looking, but we must locate it first. Oh, you think? All right, well, you know, that makes you think, are, were those kobolds also part of the invasion army? I mean, if so, that's, you know, that's pretty weak. <laughs> the kobolds in the mines, you know, or they're not the kobolds, the, the trolls, the, like the drill troll and the regular trolls with the, that drop apples. <laughs> yeah, let's go this way. Actually, no, let's go this way first.
we need to find. Ah, yeah, another treasure chest. High potion recipe. All right, that's cool. We can give that to Ash when we get back to town. That is, of course, as you can probably guess, a very powerful potion. We cannot get across there yet. We need more, uh, more of the artifacts or tools. over here oh oh maybe this is the way back to town it is all right cool I think that's probably good enough for this episode we didn't find anybody which is kind of annoying but you know oh well maybe next time we did find a lot of cool stuff though and here we are back in beautiful Frigid Carthus. Ash, I've got something for you. Great, you find a high potion recipe. These restore even more HP than normal potions. I'll add it to the menu right away. Let's see. Now we have, alright, we have four things now. Yeah, they, um, 200 hit HP as opposed to 75. So, they're more than twice as effective and cost less than twice, so that's pretty dang reasonable. <laughs> but we'll buy something later on. Not right now. I haven't found it yet. The deck of cards, that is. I did it! I did it! Whoa! I don't know how that worked. I guess I was doing it at the wrong pa pace. <laughs> Twice in a row, I got a grip of money from that, didn't I? I got... Where's my money? Oh well, who cares. Let's save right quick. <laughs> Let's talk to Dom, we can find out that way. Bye. Yeah, I have 1500... I got 500 and 500, I think. Something like that, yeah. Wow. So let's sell the leather belt, engineer's vest, and the cutlass. Anything to buy here? Eh. Hmm. Medallion belt. So you can buy those from her, but we don't need to since we have a magic one. What we can do is sell the silver ring. We don't need it. Gold ring, we don't need it. Hermit ring, we don't need it. Heart belt and ring, I'm gonna keep that just for now. And this extra medallion belt, we don't need it. Buy, I'm going to buy the other magic spell things. Magic tools. There. Now we have all the level one magical attacks. Once we find her book of incantations, then we can start powering them up. All right, well, let's save our progress, and thank you again for joining me on this episode of my Let's Play of Chasm. Join me next time, and we'll continue on to the gardens. Take care, y'all.